We are ranking the top five players at each position in the SEC. We have talked to wide receivers. We move to the other side of the field with those freakish athletes that cover the wide receivers and maybe the best matchups that we see from a talent, speed, and dynamic playmaking ability uh, throughout college football. That's the cornerback position. And uh, looking at our top five, we bring in Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama, Mike Laval and Kevin McGuffey, both from Last Word on at College Football. Steven, cornerback, I'm guessing you don't have to go too far to, to pluck a few out of your top five there in Tuscaloosa, but I'll leave it up to you to uh, give us your thoughts about why you selected the five you did, what was your criteria, and also give us your list. Well, number well, as far as what made me select these guys, number one, how important they are to their team, how well they defend against receivers, breaking on the football, of course, either – uh, seasonal stats, career stats, and, and the big one being against an opponent's best receiver or an opponent's best group of receivers, as I, as I should say. And looking at this from five through one, at number five, Galusa, and I got to go Anthony Everett at number five for the Crimson Tide at corner. And the reason why I'm picking him, there are two New Jersey natives in the secondary for Alabama. And though fans are enamored with Minka Fitzpatrick, who can play at corner, who can play at safety, who can play at star, basically can sell hot dogs and line up on any part of the field, the young man from Old Bridge, New Jersey. There's another guy from New Jersey by the name of Anthony Averett from New Jersey who played very well last year in his first year as a starting corner. People fail to realize that he was a scout team player for the last two years prior to 2016. A scout team guy, a practice player, guy on the on the squad out there. Didn't really get much love on Saturdays, but last season, 48 tackles, had a team high eight pass breakups. And when the game started to matter, you talk about LSU against Malachi Dupree, Trayvon Doral, Mississippi State against Donald Gray and Brett Ross really knocked down those group of receivers and against a speedy John Ross at Washington, the same John Ross who put down a 4-2-2 in the 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine. John Ross just three catches for 22 yards against Averett. Averett even forced a fumble off of John Ross in that Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. So Averett, in my opinion, is number five. Number four, we go down to Hawk Nation and we pull Ryan Pulley from Arkansas. And he's blue-collar player. This is what Brett Bielema among us to recruit. Those blue-collar guys that wrap up, that make the tackle, that can defend, that can break on the football, those guys that are not afraid to do the dirty work. And Ryan Pulley is one of those guys. 57 career tackles. He had 47 of those last year pass breakups, a team high 13 a season ago, and also three career interceptions. And when you have a guy like Austin yeah. Allen returning a quarterback offensively, you need a quarterback of your defense that can force turnovers and put your offense in position to make plays. Ryan Pulley, that type of guy on the defensive aspect at corner for Arkansas, so he's at number four. At number three, we ride on down to the Bayou, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where we find Dante Jackson at corner, number three, and some great defensive backs. Chevis Jackson, Craig Stelts, Maurice Claiborne, Tyron Matthew, Jamal Adams, Tredavious White, you name them, they got them. And Dante Jackson, the next line, the next wave of talent, the next person of talent, coming at that cornerback position, 65 career tackles last year, a team high eight pass breakups in 2016, had three interceptions, somebody that can roll the field, make those hard hits, and really defend. Number two, we travel to Auburn, the Plains, where we hook up with the man Carlton Davis at number two. Carlton Davis, 102 career tackles. 18 career pass breakups. He's got three picks, and he's going to be the staple of that secondary. Now, for Auburn, the front is going to be the main reason as to why it has a shot to really compete for an SEC title, losing Carl Lawson, Montrevis Adams on that defensive front. But having Carlton Davis back in the secondary really puts things in perspective. He's at number two. And at number one, Give it up for the Bulldogs. Malcolm Parrish, 
he makes the job of Dominic Sanders at safety so easy because Malcolm Parrish is a knockdown corner. He goes into his second year with Mel Tucker as his defensive coordinator and secondary coach. And that's a big time thing because I remember when Mel Tucker was at Alabama in 2015, really turned that secondary around 19 interceptions in 2015, including six return for touchdowns, or four return for touchdowns, excuse me. Six of those picks came from Eddie Jackson, national championship year in the first year with Mel Tucker. Malcolm Parrish, 108 career tackles, had 49 a season ago, not a team high nine pass breakups last year. He's got four career picks. So my five through one again, Anthony Averett, Alabama, Ryan Pulley, Arkansas, Dante Jackson, LSU, Auburn, and Malcolm Parrish, Georgia.